One day you appear on the big screen, acting alongside Jean-Claude Van Damme in one of the most recognized films in history. And on the other hand, you are found guilty of 28 charges, including tax fraud, theft, and money laundering, and sentenced to 15 years. He was one of the greatest kickboxers in history. He was known as Terminator for the power and lethality of his blows. His rivals said that fighting him was like facing a real Terminator. In his moment of glory, he had six world titles and was also chosen by Jean-Claude Van Damme to participate in the 1989 film Kickboxer, starring his brother. Dennis Raymond Alexio, born March 12, 1959, is currently a former world champion and American heavyweight kickboxing legend who competed in the light heavyweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight division. Starting out as a light heavyweight, Alexio began his career with an extensive undefeated streak loaded with knockouts before receiving his first decision loss. He recovered from this defeat by winning the Professional Karate Association World Light Heavyweight title that same year before moving up to cruiserweight and also taking the International Sport Karate Association's World Cruiserweight Full Contact Belt. In the late 1980s, he began his transition to the heavyweight division, where he won six world titles and was considered the undisputed world heavyweight champion. Alexio was an aggressive fighter who possessed very good boxing skills, in addition to a powerful spinning back kick and a Muay Thai style spinning kick to the midsection. He also kicked very well to the head and legs. He had an impressive 92% knockout rate in his fights. He has also worked as an actor since Alexio starred alongside Belgian actor Jean-Claude Van Damme in the 1989 film Kickboxer, alongside Michel Chisi, who played Tong Po. Dennis Alexio was charged with two counts of bank fraud and failure to pay child support on July 1, 2003. On December 20, 2005, two years later, a federal magistrate ordered that he be detained and returned to California since he was living in Hawaii at the time. On June 12, 2007, Alexio was arrested at his home in Hawaii for failing to appear as a witness before the federal judge and for an outstanding federal warrant issued in San Francisco for bank fraud. A federal judge in West Virginia reportedly issued an arrest warrant for him on April 20th when he failed to appear to testify in the fraud case. He was arrested again by federal agents at a coffee shop in Hawaii on November 21st, 2013. He and his wife were charged with 36 counts of filing false tax returns, wire fraud, and money laundering since December 2008 to 2013. The federal government also accused them of submitting false documents to obtain gold bars and coins worth hundreds of thousands of US dollars. Both pleaded not guilty and were scheduled to stand trial on the charges in January 2014. Two years later, on January 22, 2016, Alexio was found guilty of 28 charges, including federal fraud, tax fraud, theft, and money laundering. On April 27, 2017, Alexio was sentenced to 15 years in prison. He is currently serving time at the Sanford Federal Correctional Institution for his crimes and might not get out because he is 63 years old and has another decade in prison ahead of him.